Okay, tutorial just skipped over again. Now, normally with this kind of door, I recommend that you um, that you create a door frame around it for a realism effect. It looks it looks kind of stupid, or you might think of it as being stupid to to build a uh, a door frame for this, but believe me. It, it, it's really not that noticeable, but for someone who does notice it, well, let me put it this way: if you don't build a door frame, someone will notice it. If you do build a door frame, odds are no one will even ever notice that it's there because it looks so natural. But because it, if you don't build one, it won't look natural. It'll look fucked up, and someone's gonna kind of notice and say, "Hey, something's not right about that door." So, if you want, we could build a little uh, door frame. Let me line that up better. Yeah, see, once I line that up, now it doesn't want to mate. Alright. I'm not going to bother building a door frame right about now. No purpose. See, sometimes your doors won't want to mate properly. And that could be very agitating. In order to get that to work, you click on this, and uh, sorry, I clicked off the damn prop. You click on this, and you kind of, as if you were trying to expand the, um, uh, like a, a brush entity, you can move it very, very carefully, very slowly, until you get it to the right angle that you want it. So. So, uh, keep trying that. See, this is how you can fine-tune your door. Here, let me uh, zoom in for you. And I'll uh, show you what I'm doing here. You kind of grab this and you drag it until your door is more on the line. There. That's pretty fine-tuned. That's almost perfectly mated. So that's that's all right. That's how you can fine-tune a prop door rotating is by grabbing an edge and dragging it a little bit. It'll knock it off the grid, but sometimes it won't line up properly with the grid, especially with the, the prop door rotating. So they can be a kind of a pain in the ass. So now we're going to try to get this thing to touch the ground. And if it doesn't do it on the first shot, then I'll show you how to cheat. It should, though. Ah, crap. I just screwed it up. Yeah, it's not going to do it on the first shot, so... Um, you can cheat the same way by doing this, by clicking and dragging. You don't necessarily have to have the door touching the ground. In real life, you'll know that doors don't touch ground. Uh, they have a little bit of space underneath them, obviously, so they can move. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just get it as good as you can. Normally, these are a bit easier to work with, but sometimes they can just be a pain in the ass, depending on how you're trying to apply them to a map. So, now let's take our wall. And we're going to uh, clone him, move him over to mate with the other side of the door. And we're going to need a top for our door, so we're going to clone this again, move it here. Now you're going to scroll out, bring this up to the top of our door. Now, the important thing after this is to make sure that nothing's interfering with the model itself, otherwise it might not open. It might get stuck, like it'll see it as being stuck, and it won't open. Like, yeah, see, this this is interfering. This is going to give us a headache. Alright, so, there's a couple things you could do. You can shrink your grid down by going up to the little corner here, and try to get as closely aligned as possible. Sometimes with these, you really have to just shrink your grid down to as small as you can to get the damn thing to mate right. This is about all you can do in many cases. Alright, so we're going to drop that down like so. Alright, that's pretty close. See? Now if we uh, want to fix our textures in this view, a quick way to do that is just to go over to your face edit sheet. A really quick way to line them up. Just click on this wall, right click, right click, and right click, and now you can see that they're all properly lined up. Nah, let's just fill the no draw in for the time being. We'll come up with a uh, door frame texture a little later. Do 
the same thing on this side to ensure that everything looks right. All right, and here's our first door. Now, let's do one quick review before this hopefully cuts. We're gonna go over the uh, key values here, finish going over them rather. Your skin, you can change the skin if you know the number of it. If not, just go back to the world model, hit browse, go to the skins tab of the, this particular door, which is uh, props underscore C17 door 01 underscore left um, dot MDL. And you can change the skin.